I'm ready to start the planking and you can see there's a healthy supply of this. Now these are black walnut. They are paper thin, very flexible. And like I mentioned before, I pre-stain and starting on the deck, you start in the center and work your way out. And then I'll cut these spots out after I get the initial one glued in place. This first strip I put in using wood glue and I can see there's a little indicator here where the grates go. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these. I made quite a bit of progress on planking and probably the reason I choose pirate ships is that if I make a slight error or it's a little bit rough or bumpy it would be a fairly tattered ship so you can see I've got uh, all this deck in place I've got a few little pieces to put in here but other than that all the way across is done I've got half of this done and what I discovered works pretty well for me is I take a brush that's just about or just slightly less than the width of two planks together and then I've been using a combination of CA glue or super glue and wood glue but I've discovered on the wood glue you want to kind of feather it out and then let it dry till it's tacky and it will not ooze up between your seams as much. It takes a little practice, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. The reason I don't use super glue is sometimes I need to move them a little bit, so I need a little bit more time to get them in the proper space. And then the super glue I sometimes will do on the edge where there's a, this has got a little taper right through here. So where it was tapered, I just put some super glue so it would hold quickly. Now I need to trim these off. And what I'll do sometimes is I'll take snips and I'll get close to where the edge is okay, now that I've got that close I'm going to go ahead and put the CA glue under those so then I'll be able to sand them without them splitting something else that I do when I'm doing the planks and I don't know that this is necessary or not but I will use different starter pieces because I don't want the same tone in every plank, if that makes sense. So in other words, I don't want to take this one piece and do four in a row and then get a new one. I'll take one from this one, one from another one, and yet a third, maybe even four. And then the, the leftover pieces I'll use here or somewhere else on the ship. So, uh, and I don't know if you can see, but through here, there's a variety of, of different colors. I pretty much did the same thing there. Once I have an assortment of planks ready, I'll put on some of the wood, wood glue. And sometimes I'll dab it and then spread it around. It doesn't take very much because, again, you don't want it oozing up between the planks. I've been able to make pretty good tapers with that, although it's going to need to go all the way down to a point. I'll let that dry a little bit. I'll get this trimmed off. And then, remember the, the side rails here on the inside that I used the thicker wood that is my own, but it's also black walnut. I've chosen to do that all the way up, so I'll continue that up. 
around here. I'm going to use it on this back part because it's thicker so I can cut out a little groove so my wires can fit in better. For me, one of the easiest ways to remove the overlap of the wood, because I've ran this side uh, plank above where it's supposed to be, is just to take a sharp blade and kind of uh, sliver it off. That's easier with the thinner planks. This is that thick one, but it still works pretty well. So once I get it close, then I'll come back with a, either a file or a block of sandpaper. And this file has a little bit of a curve to it, and so does this upper part of the ship, so it just happens to fit right in there just right. This will have a rail that will cover that, so I just need to get it level with the original outside piece. I've got all the deck uh, planked, roughed in anyway. I haven't cleaned it up and I haven't stained it. And I've done some more work on the very back around the trim on the captain's chambers. So you can see the decorative trim piece that I put on instead of just a plain uh, sanded off piece. I like that much better. Probably have a little work to do here on this seam. Probably on the other side too. I've uh, put the planks across here. Need to sand it a little bit. I inadvertently used my wider, thicker one so I'll be able to sand that smooth. I put a arch top on it. I'm giving serious consideration to mounting the lanterns in a position like that as opposed to trying to drill holes through here. I tried and failed on a couple of attempts so I think I can make it work like that. There'll be one there, obviously one in the center. And then the other thing you want to test fit because I did raise this a little bit because of the trim I was using, this was going to come right up to the top. I put a couple of the thicker uh, planks, curved them a little bit, and that's going to work out perfect. Something else that I've been doing is sometimes you'll get a lot of dust and even the shop vac won't take it off. So I've been taking just uh, rubbing alcohol and kind of soaking a cloth and then I can wipe off that dust. So I'm to the point that I think I can drill those holes on each side of this and then plank the outside. And that was the whole reason I did the planking in here is I want to be able to just drill through here and easily put in an eye bolt and then cover up the hole with the outside planking. I'm assuming that it's important to get a straight line for your first piece. So what I did I, is I took the thicker plank board because it's pretty straight and I taped it on straight as best I could. And now I'm gluing my first thin black walnut using that as my straight edge. So I put some super glue on this front part back to about here and I'm going to work the rest of the way down then I'll take that lower one off and I'll work both up and down from there to a point somewhere about here and then it looks like the instructions have you work from the underside up. So that's how I did it. I'm sure there's better in other ways. I was struggling with getting to my satisfaction the plank on there straight. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of thread, tied it around here. Here's the point where I want to start my straight line. And then I actually used a level to kind of put the ship on this um, vise, pretty much level. And then I used a level to kind of check this line, ran the thread all the way around the back. And then on the other back side, I taped it with masking tape. So that's what I'm going to do to try and get my first plank on this side straight. I know there's a tool that you can get that makes a waterline mark. I've seen that. 
and now I understand what it's for, so maybe someday I will invest in that waterline mark tool. I'll check into that more. But I think this is going to work. This gives me what I wanted, and uh, I think I'm going to put it below it, and then I'll work down from there and up from above it. I'm going to proclaim that that first plank on the very top edge, a success with the piece of thread. So I'm happy with that getting put into place. You can see my planking is coming along pretty well. That first strip on there, I think did give me a pretty straight line. Something that can help get your planks on straight is to go ahead and, and put a pre-bend some of them. And these are real thin, so it doesn't take much at all. I just take, set it in water for just a few seconds, actually. And I don't, don't do anything real fancy. I uh, heat up this iron and just very gentle pressure. And I don't have to get it perfect because this is thin enough, it's pretty uh, pliable or bendable anyway. But I'm just gonna get a few of these and get that general shape started. I got to this point and I realized, oh, you know what? I need to do this back part first because I want these planks to overlap the back. So because I thought of that early, I left those long, but I need to do all this so that these can overlap. So when you look from this side, you're not seeing the edge of those planks on the back. to the point in planking where when I curve around the bow of the ship it's not fitting properly I would have to bend this too much so what I do to start correcting that you have to get it where it's going to be and then bring it back lay it in the position it's going to go in back here where it's straight and, and release that front part. And then where this starts to overlap the plank that has already been put in place, I put a pencil mark there and then down to the end. Now I can go clear to the tip, but I just, I want to do it gradually. So I'm a little more than halfway and I'm going to take this, the section that is this up towards the top of the ship. I'm going to either cut that off or file it off. And so you can see how that's going to start correcting that. Well, this is also going to be the point where I need to start going this direction. So I think I'm going to leave that like that and I'm going to start planking the underneath and work my way up to that. And eventually I may do every other and get a staggered line, but I need to get it up a few uh, planks and I'll start working on that. Here's my planking so far, and obviously I have to cut these pieces off and, you know, sand and cut out where the windows are. But it's working out pretty well, and you may have noticed on the uh, time-lapse one that every once in a while I pick up a paper towel. I've discovered that if I wipe the paper towel, uh, I don't get any splinters to start with, if there are any. And it will take off some of the super glue residue if it pops out a little bit. And I hope that if there is any, I can do a light sanding 
uh, right before I restain everything because I'll restain it all again. So um, progressing pretty well and my string line worked to my satisfaction. I've actually finished the other side. So I want to discuss some things over here. And again, I'm a beginning shipbuilder and I make this for beginning shipbuilders so you can see what goes wrong and, and what works out pretty well. So I sanded a little bit on this. You can't sand very much because these black walnut pieces are very, very thin. But I wanted to show how I put all of this together. Now this will look much better after I stain it again. But these are my seams. Are they perfect? No, but that's why I stick with the pirate ships. And then I tried to um, go every other one when I got into the point where they were coming together. Every once in a while I didn't. I either did it by error or it would fit better doing two one direction. So that's kind of a close-up of my joints. I've got one little recess there for some reason. Ouch, there's a splinter. Uh, not sure what caused that one. I'll try and sand that some, or I could feather out another piece of walnut and put it in there. I may do that. We'll see as time goes by. So that's the rough final planking. Again, need to sand and cut. But for a beginner, I hope you can realize that you can do this and this is a good ship to start on. The build is progressing well. You can see I have the deck in place. I will do another coat of stain, probably a light coat, but it's just to take care of these little scratches that I've made. So that's it for episode eight, making progress. Planking is mostly done. We've got some things to tweak. Episode nine will give an overview of the ship totally planked. And I'm going to do a, a light coating of stain. And at some point I'll do a coat of tongue oil on this part of the ship because I want to be able to turn it upside down. So I'll, I'll get the exterior finish probably completely done on the uh, hull of the ship. Thanks for watching. This is Boiler Dan One where I know a little bit about everything, a whole lot about nothing, and I have a whole lot to learn about building wooden bottle ships. Thank you.